What's the progress on Red Point Village in Summerlin? That's what I'm talking about today. Let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. <laughs> and I am on my way now to go check out the progress of Red Point Village and Red Point Square Village. It is November, what day is it? The November 28th, Saturday after Thanksgiving. And I just thought it would be cool to kind of just see what's going on, what the progress is. I know that there was a couple of them that opened their model home, so I may be able to get an opportunity to check out the awesome new homes here in Red Point Village. There's a lot going on, a lot of new villages, a lot of curiosity going on. Um, so hopefully I can cover some of people's questions and um, give you a status update of the progress of this awesome community. So see you guys on the flip side. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Still got Crystal Canyon by Woodside. I'll get out. I'm going to go all the way to the top this time. I'm on Far Hills right now. I'm going to go all the way to the top to Sky Vista. I have one client that's curious to see who the builder is going to be up there. Really made a lot of progress since I've been here in two, what, two months or so? Um, Acadia Ridge by Toll Brothers and if you're interested in that, their homes are going to be exactly like the homes over in Shadow Point. Oh, they're building the wall. Cool. Tilt this to the right so you guys can see. They're building the dividing line. I think the more progress is inward and we'll we'll hit inward in a minute um, just really want to get to the top and show you the views I was here last night um, visiting a friend over in Stonebridge Village and when I went all the way up to the top and came down it's just amazing the views so my potential client thinks that it's gonna be actually pretty cool to be all the way at the top because of the views that you're going to have of the city and then also since it's the mountains right there you can have the views of the mountain they are grading it out right now but I have no indication as to what village this is going to be so let me get out and check it out see what I can investigate Okay, I'm at the very top of Sky Vista Drive in Far Hills. Far Hills. I don't know if you can see the city from here. There it is. Very beautiful. It's going to be beautiful at night. And this will eventually open up and go to uh, Stonebridge Village. Still can't decipher what is going to be here. They're grading it. it looks like they're putting the sewer, social distancing. And that's it. It'll be interesting to find out who the builder is going to be right here. They know. We don't know. And it's very hard to find out. Very nice. This will be interesting starting to take shape this view never gets old and I'm hoping that my other camera can capture the beautiful view of our awesome downtown and Las Vegas strip awesome view so now let's uh, it's actually a pretty nice day out let's go adventure on Guys, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. 1977. 
having the Mississippi hot stuff. Downtown Tulum. Alright, let's check this out. So we are taking a left on. I need my glasses to see. Desert foothills. <laughs> Oh, a lot more homes built. This is Savannah. So let's see. Sorry, I gotta put my shades on so I can read. Savannah to the left. Oh. Savannah by Taylor Morrison. And there's model homes. Let's go check it out. Of course. I don't have my business cards on me, but oh well. Let's see if they'll let me record some of these model homes. Huh. Do a quick drive through the model homes. So, Mississippi Uptown. Whoops. <laughs> All right, so we are here. Here's the model homes. Hopefully my recording can get a semi-decent picture. Actually it looks like there's a lot of cars out here today. So let's get out and check out. I like Taylor Morrison, it's a very good home builder. Wow, it is busy. Maybe Saturday is not the best of days to take a tour. Maybe what I'll do is just kind of Record it and come back on the weekday when it's not busy. You think with the whole sea work going on, people wouldn't be out. But, you know, people want to shop. People want to buy a home. And why not, right? Let's go check it out. This looks like they're all single story. Pretty interesting. I'm going to go in and get the information sheet and share it with you. Right now, at this moment, I'm not going to risk filming and being interrupted by people coming through. It is a Saturday after all. Um, so I'll get the information sheet for you guys and show it to you to see what this awesome community is about. It looks like single story, a couple homes with three car garage. There's the Violet. 2,574. Another three car garage, 2,300, the Sunflower. Looks like they're pretty big homes for single stories. And it's good to see that it's single stories because it's amazing how many people want to buy a single story home. Looks like they have four floor plans. Oh crap, I need to go get my mask. The lilac, 23 to 24.90. And the model home is called the Daisy. They're all after flowers. Alrighty. So this is over here, it's Savannah, Taylor Morrison. The view outside the model homes, very busy day. All right, so I'm gonna go to the car and talk about this village and give you the pricing information and all that good stuff. Busy. So I just took a brief tour of this, um, Builder Savannah by Taylor Morrison and it's an all single story gated community and the HOA fees are going to be 115 a month and that includes the Summerlin HOA master plan fee as well as the gated community fee so that's not bad 115 um, the agent told me that first delivery will probably be July and August so it's a six to seven month build which isn't as bad as I thought um, We'll see with everything going on how fast they will build these homes, but you know, six to seven months, not too bad for a new home built. Um, the starting price from what I noticed is there are seven models. 
Three, four of them are modeled here in the community, but there are seven models to choose from, starting from 539,900 to 635,900, and this is just the base price. Now, sometimes these builders will include some amenities. However, you're looking at basic granite countertops and basic cabinets. The one thing you want to consider when you're buying a new home build is where do you want to spend your money at? And to me, the number one is kitchen, flooring, and then bathrooms are secondary. But your flooring, you have to get it right the first time because it's expensive to take out. And then the kitchen, obviously, you need to spend money on the countertops and then the cabinets. At least have something modern, either the shaker style cabinets and something that's classic and true that will carry on for years to come. So that's about it. And she did say that the lids are going to be $588 every six months, semi-annually. So it's not bad. And they sold five homes so far and they just opened last weekend. So that's pretty good considering a single story home community. Very rare to find, especially in Summerlin. Another tidbit that I wanna bring up about buying a new home construction is it's very important, I'm gonna do a video on this. It's very important that if you do buy a new home build, that before you even consider going to the sales office, hire your own real estate agent. Your own real estate agent needs to be with you on your very first visit. After that, you can go as many times, but if you would like to be represented by a real estate agent, then I need to be there with you on your very first visit to ensure that I am going to be taking care of you as my client. My point is, is that when you go to court, you don't want to be represented without a lawyer, right? So why, when you buy a home, not be represented by a buyer's agent? Now, obviously, of course, they're going to have their own agents here. They're going to have the builder's agents, but they are representing the builder and looking out for the builder's best interest and not yours. The key to having a real estate agent represent you during a new home process is one, to make sure the transaction goes smoothly, to communicate with the lender, to communicate with the title company, to make sure everything's flowing and going together, um, to stay on top of timelines, go through inspections, I mean, to hold your hand throughout the entire process. And did you know Sorry for the lighting. Did you know that we're free? I mean, come on. Why would you go through the process, have that agent represent you when they're representing millions of other clients in this new home build when I can give you the one-on-one -on -one attention you deserve? Anyway, stay tuned to a video. So we're gonna further go on and see what else is available here in the Red Point Village. See you on the flip side. Alrighty, I'm just leaving Taylor Morrison, Savannah, and it's part of the Red Point Village. And now, let's see, I think these are the Richmond American Townhomes, Morro Rock. Well, let's see what it's all about. I don't think I'm going to go tour the model homes this time. It takes a long time just to get in there and cord. I'm going to have to do individual videos of each of these individual villages or subdivisions. So Morro Rock, I don't think this person knows what they're doing. <laughs> I'll just get out and film the mother effer, I swear. Learn how to friggin' drive. Disabled. So this is the townhome community. Around so you can see the townhomes. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. stop and get a sheet it's gonna be oh my god all right can you get this on camera see it how tight the street is I'm curious to know what 
the parking's going to be like, how you're going to park. That's the one thing about this new village is, is that, um, houses are going to be extremely, extremely closer to each other and like, and see, this is a townhome community. So obviously you can see, I don't know if you can see in the picture that there is no driveway. It looks like there's some open spots for guests, but you're going to have to park your car in the garage. Oops, I can't go down that road yet. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah, it's going to be nice because it's going to be affordable. So I'm going to get the pricing sheet to see how much it is just to go in there. But realistically, oh, some of these have driveways. Some of them may not. So that's something to think about. All right, let's go. Well, I'm just leaving Mora Rock and went in there and there was not a sales representative there. So I couldn't get the pricing sheet. I do believe that information is already on my website. So let's just keep on touring this awesome new village. It's exciting and amazing how many people are actually out shopping right now. This road, sorry. Chindle Corner. I need my sunglasses. Alrighty, let's see what's going on up here, up in here. It's pretty. On, shucks on. This is Cascades. Oh, wow. Oh, is this going to be another loop de loop? No. Oh. I didn't want to do this. Huh. Interesting. Let's see if I'm recording. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Red Pass. But I do want to go back to there. Let's go down here. Wow, this is actually where you want to be. Over here. Up here and over. I don't know if you can see it on the gimbal, but it's pretty cool. Huh. So this is Desert Foothills. And back. Yeah, that up there. That's been a great, great location. On Kindle Corner. So this is the Cascades by Taylor Morrison. It's pretty cool. And there's only two model homes, so I'm gonna might as well just tour them, right? Wow. All right, see you guys on the flip side. All right, so this is over here at the Cascades subdivision by Taylor Morrison. Awesome views. I like it's a little higher, higher elevated. People are out shopping today, I'm telling you. Contact me when you buy to buy a new house. Just kidding. Where am I? like two-story homes. I think this one is going to be the more affordable than the other one. I think this is going to be part of Red Point Square. So let's find out. Okay, so I actually ended up taking a tour of Cascades by Taylor Morrison, and I was a little disappointed in the pricing, meaning that they're a lot more higher than I had ex expected. 
So let me get the pricing sheet. So there are two models displayed, but there are three styles for sale. And technically, there could be six styles. So there's Acacia, Beach, and Cedar. And then you could do Acacia Plus, Beach Plus, and Cedar Plus. And what that does is add an extra loft, she said. Let me see. Too much information. A bonus room balcony upstairs with you can have an option of a half bath as well um, the HOA here is $184 that includes $136 for the Cascades gated community and then $48 $48 for the Summerlin Master Plan community and there's only going to be 54 homes in this um, subdivision which is very very small and she said they've already sold two, so now only 52. She also did mention, the agent there mentioned that it's a six month build time, not bad. The SIDS are 383 semi-annually for 11 years, or there's 11K left on it. Um, so it's pretty interesting. The homes are pretty small from 1649 to 2242, and the prices start at 396,900 to 474,900. Which to me is kind of crazy because I thought the whole concept again for Village or Red Point Square Village was that the homes were going to be a little more affordable. That doesn't look like it. And I got some insight. I have a, a very good friend that lives in Stonebridge at a development which I'm not going to name, but he told me that that development is waiting to release new home sites because they're waiting for the price increase. These builders know that there's not a lot of homes out here in Las Vegas. So what are they doing? They're taking advantage of it and they're increasing the price. And did you know when you buy a new home, there's no negotiations in price. It is what it is. So, uh, I mean, yes, it's great that Red Point is opening now, but I think the reason why these prices are so high is because they can take advantage of it. They know people are going to pay for it, especially people that are relocating here to Nevada. Again, the, the conception of Red Point Square, not the Red Point Village, but the square, was it for it to be more affordable homes in the Summerlin Master Plan community. This is 1,600 square feet with a starting price of 396,900, and that's the base price. So. There's a lot of things you need to consider when you're buying a new home build here in Summerlin or in the Las Vegas Valley. I can only speak for Summerlin right now because that's my focus, but I'm sure it's the same across the board with all the new home builders here. Anyway, so we're going to continue on with this tour of Red Point, Red Point Square, seeing the progress. Sorry if it's a long tour. I just had to get some of these videos out there. See you on the flip side. Okay, we're just leaving the Cascades by Taylor Morrison, and we are crossing Desert Foothills, and I forgot what the street was called, Kindle Corner. So I'm gonna go straight and see what is else is in Kindle Corner. Um, so right now for Red Point Square, the two home new home builds that are available is Richmond American, Morrow Rock, and then Cascades by Taylor Morrison. And then in Red Point, the only new home builder with model homes is the Savannah by Taylor Morrison. Oh, wait, here's some more. Let's see what this is all about. This looks interesting, very modern. Can't get in it. Those look like townhomes. So this must be the KB townhomes. So it's interesting as we go further along, I will try to update you guys on Red Point Village when I get time. Uh, let's see if I can go up this way. Views are pretty. So the further north you go, the northwest, it seems like you get better views of the valley. Not a lot going on yet. Kind of cool. I don't know if I should keep on going or not. <laughs> Let's see. A 
long and windy road. Good thing I got a Jeep. I probably shouldn't be here. Wow. Looks like that's coming close to Summerlin Parkway. There is actually another new village under works. I forgot the name of it. I saw it on the map. Um, I just need time to investigate these things. I need to investigate it. It's more closer to Summerlin Parkway. So like I've said in my previous video, okay, this is Red Pass, that the goal was for eventually from all the way from Lake Mead to Far Hills, the rest of the remaining 5,500 acres um, going to be built. So this is Woodside Homes, Clouder Springs Way. Okay. Woodside. Some more rock. That's it for now, folks. Not a lot. I know a lot of these um, builders are taking client interest lists right now. So if you're really interested in it, let me know. Um, I can register you for it. I know that the Acadia Ridge by Toll Brothers is going to be exactly like Shadow Point with the whole model homes and with their elite bonus rooms. Um, so I will post more information as I learn more information on my website. If you have any questions about this village or if you know more information about it than I do, leave a comment down below. Okay, I lied. I was coming down Far Hills and saw another new development. And this is by Woodside Homes. I like Woodside, they're a good builder. So, of course, now we gotta go check it out, right? Gotta give you as much information as I have. Woodside. Me and my uncle, one riding down South Colorado. West Texas bound. Oh, so it's two cell centers. Okay. Collection two and collection one. This would be interesting. See you guys on the flip side. All right, just stopped over the Woodside community. This is collection one, which must be single story homes. And then collection two, I'm about to go in the sales office and find out more for you guys what it's, what's going on here. Alrighty, it's actually collection two. Went to go in the collection one office and nobody was there. The door was locked. Very, uh, not modern. I mean, sure it's modern inside, but it's very Spanish oriented. It's not mid-century like I like. So let's go see what it's all about. All right, I just got done visiting Woodside Homes, the Crystal Canyon in Summerlin. I was not able to see collection one, which is all single story homes, but I was able to check out collection two. And um, actually the prices aren't that bad. It's two story and for the most part, they're all around 2,300 and change um, square footage with three to four bedrooms or four to five bedrooms. Starting price at 449,900 up to uh, 468,990, depending on which elevation you choose. So really for a 2,400 square foot home, not bad in pricing for a new home here in the Summerlin Village. The only thing is, is that there's no three car garage, which kind of sucked. So then the HOA total is $115, which is 67 for Crystal Canyon community and then $48 for the Summerlin community. And I do believe this will be a gated community as well. And the SIDS are roughly 13775 which is $456 every six, $452 every six months. Um, so yeah, it's interesting. And he said that there are 83 homes for collection two, and they've already sold six, and they are not officially open yet. They've done a lot of pre-sales and some um, appointments but they haven't really opened their doors to the public and they've already sold six. That is just crazy. If you wanna buy a new home in Summerlin, you know who to call, right? Me, I'm free. I'll help you throughout the entire process. Anyway, that concludes my tour of Red Point and Red Point Square. 
stay tuned to future videos where as it progresses I would like to try to do videos I wasn't able to do a video of collection two here at Woodside because um, the sales agent was there walking with me it's kind of weird doing a video but when they open to the public then I will do a video of it stay tuned for that um, if you have any questions about Red Point or Red Point Square you know what to do right you can give me a call 702-370-5112 you can email me leave a comment down below but as always if you like this video hit the thumbs up button leave a comment share with a friend and all that good stuff thank you so much for watching today and i will see you guys on the next one